Is it time to buy or sell SOXL ETF? In this video, we will explore SOXL in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 13th of August, 2024, and now we are here to provide you with an even more thorough analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analyses. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and detailed analyses for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Since the first day of August in the year 2024, our system has designated SOXL as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 3.17. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. Interestingly, the stock has outperformed our system's predictions, achieving a gain of 0.80%. This results in an average return of 0.09% per day since it was classified as a sell candidate. The exchange traded fund is currently positioned within a broad and declining trend in the short term, indicating further potential decreases ahead. The present three-month trend indicates a possible decline of approximately 19% over the upcoming three months, with expected returns ranging from negative 42% to positive 44%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a change of around 114% over the next year, with potential returns between 63% and 340%. This could result in a price range between $57.61 and $155.32 and after one year. Our latest daily update for SawXL includes the headline, High volatility in SawXL ETF price on Tuesday, which ended trading at $35.28. The SawXL ETF price gained 12.32% on the last trading day, which was Tuesday, the 13th of August, 2024, rising from $31.41 to $35.28. During the last trading day, the ETF fluctuated 10.08%, with a low of $32.19 and a high of $35.43. The price has been quite unstable during this period, resulting in a 4.97% loss over the last two weeks. Additionally, trading volume increased on the last day alongside the price movement, which is considered a positive technical indicator, with a total of 13 million more shares traded compared to the previous day. In total, 101 million shares were exchanged for approximately $3.56 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $70.08, while the lowest price was $14.01. Currently, the price is 49.66%, or $34.80, below the 52-week high, and 90.67%, ,60 or $342.96, below the all-time high reached on November 26, 2020, when the price peaked at $378.24. Sox L, a leveraged exchange-traded fund focusing on the semiconductor sector, has experienced significant price declines, down approximately 52% since mid-June, after a period where shares had doubled from April to June. This considerable downturn puts pressure on short-term investor sentiment, raising caution among market participants. Recent market dynamics indicate an increasing investor interest in leveraged exchange-traded funds, which attracted $2.4 billion in inflows last week amidst a broader inflow of $4.4 billion for all exchange-traded funds. However, the performance of SoxL remains clouded by underlying volatility linked to the recent unwinding of the yen carry trade, which has negatively impacted many investors and contributed to heightened market fluctuations. Given this backdrop, SoxL is viewed as a strong sell due to the risks of accelerated decay in volatile conditions. 
Moreover, while SOXL could outperform its intended three times factor, if semiconductor stocks trend positively for consecutive weeks, current weaknesses in tech stock valuations add to the uncertainty. Investors who previously anticipated a rebound in tech stocks are now facing losses. In the short term, these factors could suppress SOXL's stock price as volatility persists. In the long term, while there are opportunities associated with the semiconductor sector and the ongoing momentum in artificial intelligence, caution is warranted until clearer signs of a stabilizing market emerge. Investors should carefully consider these dynamics when evaluating their positions in SOXL moving forward. The following signals have been identified for SOXL. A buy signal emerged from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, the 7th of August, 2024, and it has since risen by 34.55%. Further upward movement is expected until a new top pivot is established. Volume is increasing alongside the price, which is considered a positive technical indicator. However, some negative signals have also been issued, potentially impacting short-term developments. The SOXL ETF currently holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, but the long-term average indicates a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is situated above the short-term average, this results in a more negative outlook for the ETF. If further gains occur, the ETF will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $48.09. Conversely, if there is a decline, the ETF will find support from the short-term average at $30.26. A breakout above the long-term average will signal another buy, while a drop below the short-term average will reinforce the sell signal and contribute to a more negative overall assessment. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. Here are some additional signals you might find noteworthy. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots suggest a buy signal occurred five days ago. Bollinger analysis reveals a buy signal from 84 days ago. The short-term moving average shows a buy signal from four days ago. In contrast, the long-term moving average indicates a sell signal from 21 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages produced a buy signal 18 days ago. When examining the 12-month chart, we observe the short moving average reflects a sell signal from 21 days ago. The long-term moving average shows a sell signal from 16 days ago. Meanwhile, the relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 6 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support Risk and Stop Loss for SOXL SOXL finds support from accumulated volume at $35, and this level may present a buying opportunity as an upward reaction can be anticipated when the support is tested. This exchange-traded fund may experience significant movement throughout the day, characterized by volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, this ETF is deemed to be very high risk. During the past day, the ETF fluctuated $3.25 between its high and low, equating to 10.08%. Over the last week, the ETF has had a daily average volatility of 13.21%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SOXL. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for a SOXL is at $37.13. If you do not own any shares, you might consider waiting for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a point to contemplate for swing trading. On the downside, SOXL encounters its first support level at $35. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. We are issuing a negative evaluation for this exchange-traded fund and there is currently no stop loss in place. Is SOXL ETF a good buy? SOXL exhibits several negative indicators and we anticipate that it will continue to perform poorly in the upcoming days or weeks. Consequently, we maintain a negative assessment of this ETF.
Upon reviewing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our analysis suggests that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, the 14th of August, we expect Soxel to open down by 98 cents with an initial trading price of $34.30. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money. It is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. Please do not base your investment decisions solely on the information provided by stockinvest.us. By using this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.